Right, lovelies, we're here at Preston train station waiting to get the train to Lancaster. We're off for a day out, aren't we, boys? Are you ready? I'm yeah. staring into the camera, so. Daniel is staring into the camera, so you make me laugh, you. Anyway, let's go. Right, we've just got to Lancaster train station and it's absolutely gorgeous. The sun's come out, look at this, look. Are you ready, boys? I'm still in the process of staring into the camera, so. Yes. <laughs> Not right, you. <laughs> Funny lad. Right, let's go. Guys, I cannot believe it. I bought this bottle of water at a shop up the road, just gone into this cafe behind us, asked us if they can put a bit of squash in there, and guess how much it was. You are not going to believe it. Wait for these to go past. It was three quid. Three quid just to pour a little bit of blackcurrant squash in the bottle. That is, that is absolutely ridiculous. That is a joke, isn't it? What did you think of that, Daniel? Three pounds. You can buy a Krusty Kreme donut with that. Right, I'm gonna show you the shop behind us, okay? Now you can see that one there called Tuck Cafe and Bakery, three quid. Three, three quid to put, to put a bit of squash in the bottle. That is absolutely insane. If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have paid for it. I honestly expected to pay 50p or even a quid, you know, just to put a bit of squash in a bottle. A quid would have been better. That, that would have been okay-ish. Still on the pricier side, but three pound. So then there was a can, can of lemonade on the counter and I said, oh, no, 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 we're not paying for that. I said, we'll go somewhere else. Because the lemonade, the can of lemonade, guess how much that was, guys? £3.50. £3.50 for a can of lemonade. I said, no, 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 you can take that back. You can buy two Krispy Kreme donuts for all that money. I'm bloody fuming. Honestly, if I could get them to extract the juice back out of the bottle, <laughs> I'd get them to take it back out and give me my money back. I'm daylight robbery. <laughs> Mark's laughing. <laughs> no, I'm fuming though. What are you doing, you loony? I'm accidentally hip... Wait, wait, I'm going to hip attack. So, we've just come out of the hospital, which is just at the top of this street. Um, the canal is just here. There's the canal. So, if you need to go to the hospital, it's literally just on the other side of that bin, just there. So, we're going to go and see if they've got the canal cruiser on. I did say to the boys, I don't think it will be because it's um, a weekday kids are back in school so I don't think it's going to be running to be honest but we'll go and have a look and if not it's nice to have a little walk down by the canal it's that there are you right it's that there in front of us Dan there's a little ticket booth there look well fingers crossed eh it's a beautiful day, it's gorgeous. And there is a boat there, so that looks good. It's promising, yeah. So there is one at quarter to three. Loon Aqueduct Cruise returning back at half past four. Oh, that's a long one. That's an hour and 45 minutes. That's a bit long really for a cruise. Oh, that is a shame. Absolutely gutted. Look at this beauty here, Kingfisher. Yeah, it's got to hold it on, hasn't it? Careful, Mark. Some of these are very wobbly. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. You can hire the boat, look. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Mum. Yes. I found out how to know how deep the, deep the water is. How do you that find out? The bottle that can fit the bottles. Um, I don't think that's going to be right. I think that's going to be maybe standing on something. That would be very shallow. Come back. They have to be a certain depth for the boats. Or oh, maybe in the middle, like it's deeper. Could be. Right, let's get up these stairs. Oh, it's... Uh, uh, what? 
I thought you was moaning about your back or your knees or something. No, I was moaning about it being cut. Perry would not like this bridge. I like this view. Oh, so this is a, a cafe or a pub or something here, look. Really nice spot there to sit and have a have a refreshment. Oh, I think I've spotted my shoes. Oh, I You've spotted your dream house. Oh, the apartment. I wonder why it's got netting over it. So no one can get in. But well, no, the netting won't stop a person getting in. It could be. Dog. No. Rinse lava. Dogs don't fly, Daniel. It could. Rinse lava. It could be um, birds, maybe. Cats. I'm just gonna say every animal in the entire animal kingdom. I would love to live on a canal boat. I know somebody does, and the inside of the boat is gorgeous. Very nice. Isn't it crazy in this day and age that you actually have to have a sign saying children are the responsibility of the parent or guardian? That's mad, isn't it? Lovely little pub, isn't it? Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I'm just, I love it. I love things like this. It's peen, pe, peen, peaceful. <laughs> Can't even speak. What are you doing? I've got to pin my butt. What? I've got to pin my butt. Pin your butt. <laughs> Putting your bum in there? Yeah. <laughs> it means bin your cigarette butts, you oh, lunatic. I'm watching it. <laughs> You actually thought they meant to put your bum in there? Bin your butts? You've got to bin your butt, you've got to bin your butt, okay, the rules. <laughs> oh, you're a cracker, you. Look how small that building is behind you. Look look where the upstairs windows are. If you jump, you can nearly reach them. <laughs> it is small, though, isn't it? Look what we've just found. Isn't this gorgeous? Shut the gate properly. So you've got to be quiet because people do live in these cottages. What an absolutely stunning little area is this? Look at all these flowers, Dan. Mark's got the right idea there. Put your feet up, lad. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm in love. Wow. This is so pretty. Isn't this pretty? Look at the stained glass window. Oh, that is gorgeous. What a lovely little church is this. Look, we've got piano just behind us here. Oh, look, they've got an organ. Old style organ. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This would be an amazing little spot to live in, wouldn't it? So we're just gonna to head to the train station because we're thinking of hopping on a train and going somewhere else. Because we came to Lancaster only a few weeks ago and we saw the castle and a few other places, so we might go somewhere else. Let's go see. So we've just seen that it's only £4.70 
for me, Daniel and Mark to get a return over to Morecambe. So we're going to head over there instead. It'd be cool if we bumped into the Radfords, wasn't it? Wouldn't it? Couldn't even speak. Boys, don't rush. We've got half an hour till the train. So yeah, it's always worth getting a family and friends rail card if you've got any children under 16. Because I get 60% off their fare and 40% off mine and it costs me £30 a year. I've got it every single year. Definitely worth having. Hello. Hello. Off to book and we go. Right, we're here in Morecambe. Daniel's doing his Kate Winslet impression. Oh, it's just beautiful. I've not been here for years. A lot of years, I can't really remember it. We saw a bit of the sea just down this street opposite, so we're gonna head down there. Go towards the front. I don't expect much to be open now because it is middle of September. Kids are back in school. But it's just nice to be... Just wait back a minute. It's just nice to be in, um, in a different area. I'm just letting that car pass. It's nice to explore. Give them a wave, please. Thank you. It's nice to explore somewhere else, isn't it, lads? Yeah. Yeah? Say I thank you. Say thank you for the call. Thank, thank you, Paul. <laughs> Hey, monkey. Central Drive, Mark. This is called Central what? Drive. No. <laughs> Where's the rough people? Where's the rough people? Daniel. <laughs> Central Drive is always rough, right? So you've got Promenade and Beach, four minutes ahead. Town Centre, over that way is Festival Market, the platform and the Vic. Oh. So. <laughs> Just landed on you. Wee. So you've got Winter Gardens here as well, boys. Clock Tower, Royalty Place, Street Art, Midland Hotel, views to the lakes. You can see the lakes. Wow. Let's go this way, down to, down to the promenade. This is Northumberland Street. There's a car park just opposite. Car park. And we're hoping to have some tea as well over here, so do a food review. Food review! I've got a pair of parrots today, haven't I, people? Eh? Parrot I one. Parrot one and parrot two, look. Monkeys. I've not brought your, um, not brought your mic today. So we're here on the promenade. You've got Trout Flies UK, Costa. Um... Can you pronounce that? Bru Bruciani? <laughs> Award, Award winning ice cream. And let's, let's cross over here. You can see the sea out just there. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And look at all those mountains opposite, Mark. Oh yeah, it's like a scene of a town. It looks like Italy. Looks like Italy, you make me laugh, you. Looks like Italy. Oh, it's green. Because we're in Italy. No, I wish we was in Italy. Yeah, that would be nice. Italy is on the list. We have a list, guys, of oh, quick, 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 of places that we want to visit, and the Colosseum is there. It's on the list. Oh, if I named every place I want to go, it goes for like an hour. Right, let me give you the mic. Name um, your places of where you want to go. What's on your bucket list, Mark? Bucket list. I was going to say like nearly every country in Europe, but bucket list. Oh, probably like. Any time today. Germany, like a lot of Europe, so Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Romania, Japan. Uh, That's not Europe. No, but I was going out of Europe. Okay, Japan, good. China, uh, US, Brazil, places like that. I've got a lot of places I want to go. So the places that I've got on my bucket list to visit straight off is Auschwitz oh. um, in Poland, yeah. Um, the prison in America. Uh, 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 Oh, 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 oh. Alcatraz, thank you, Daniel. Alcatraz, Colosseum over in Italy. And I really want to go on one of the little gondola boats, you know, round the little streets in Italy. Um, I want to go to Netherlands. Amsterdam. Yeah, and anyway, I'd, I'd be happy to go anywhere. Daniel, what countries are on your list? 
So this is a really short list because there's nothing on it. You don't want to go anywhere? What about Poland? You said you want to go Poland. Okay, no, Daniel, not... stay in behind while we go. <laughs> I regret my you regret your decision? I, 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 I pray. I pray. I right. Oh, guys, look at this. How gorgeous is this? You're not. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Really, really nice. I'm glad we decided to. <laughs> well, you could go on the back bit of the sand rather than the wet part. I'm going, I'd Why don't we walk across to those steps there and then go up the steps? Yeah. Well, look at, I'm not getting them dirty at all. I see what you mean. You want to stay to the back part then. So we've just found this little area here. So just opposite Pleasureland, we've got this lovely little memorial garden here for the soldiers. I think this is really nice. Just over there, look, you've got the bench that says, lest we forget. And then just round here, it says, when you go home, tell them of us and say for your tomorrow, we give our today. I think that's really lovely, that, isn't it? Lovely and respectful. It's proper gorgeous. I think they've got some sort of, I don't know if it's like a bike area or a skating area or something just over here. Look at this lot. Just to zoom in there. So yeah, it does look like some sort of bike riding area. Looks like they've got a fair ride there, look. And then just next to us here, you've got another memorial statue, 1939 to 1945. To the honoured memory of the men of Morecambe and Hersham who fell in World War II. It's lovely that, isn't it, that they still Remember everybody, I love it. Right, we're just going to pop over to this uh, pleasure land and then we're going to carry on walking and see what else we can find. Come on, boys. It does appear to be quite clean so far, Morecambe. I haven't spotted any rubbish. Daniel, you can be a rubbish hunter and see what rubbish you can spot. Yes, I can make it yeah, I haven't found any yet. Shut the gate, darling, please. It does seem to be quite a clean town. This is Pleasureland here, just over the road, and they've got Johnny's Sports Bar. Fish and chips right next door. Look at this, Pleasureland. Hey. I oh, a bit of Connect Four. I like that. It's pretty big actually, this arcade. Jurassic Park over there. Pusher machines. The boys are just in the toilet there. You've got a really big gift shop here, look. The shop opens at 12 till 9.30. Pretty big for a, a gift shop, isn't it? Don't know why it's not open right now, because it's in between the time, but it's out of season now, isn't it? So here they are, finally. Come on, boys. Derby Day, look at that, that's nice. Minecraft Dungeons Arcade. Fast gunman. Oh, look at this one. It reminds me of Mario, that one. Oh, I've seen Curly play that a few times. Actually, I don't think we're going to play. We're going to go off and explore. We might come back later. We'll see. Let's see what else we've got here. 
in Morecambe. So that's bowling there, look, Sowell Bowl. Bowling right next door. Eat, stay and play. We need to find somewhere to have tea soon. Let's walk up the promenade and see what we can find. I don't think it's cold, but mind you, every person is different. Oh, look, a convertible. Another one of the things on my bucket list to go in a convertible. Oh, you've got a aeroplane flying over there, look. The Winter Gardens, Morecambe, opened in 1897. It's 2,500 capacity, was one of the largest in the North West. Oh, look, it's like we're back in Blackpool. Winter Gardens. Nice little shop here on the corner, look. Crab and Hippo bucket sets, five pounds. Large Castle buckets, four pounds. So you've got a gift shop here. And then you've got ice cream, three pound for a single cup. This is nice, isn't it? So they've got real dairy ice cream here. And then next door, look, you've got Harry's Bar. So let's have a look at their look. Their lineup is, oh, that's a weird angle. Uh, Carlsberg 320, San Miguel 450, Guinness 470, Tetley's 320. Those are not bad prices at all for a pint. Fish and chips, eight. Fish and chips, eight quid, well spotted, Mark. Battered sausage, eight pound. Smash burger and chips, eight pound. Sitting or takeaway available. Well spotted. Far place animal rescue charity shop here. So it's kind of, it's like a, a much quieter version, isn't it, Mark, of Blackpool? Much quieter version, the more relaxed version. Oh yeah, I'm sure this place will get packed out, but it obviously doesn't have all the theme, you know, the theme parks and water parks and things that Blackpool has, but it still has plenty here. Are you okay? We're just gonna take a walk up though, see if there's anything up this way. So I don't know why, but something's niggling me and I'm thinking that there's something up this end here. Why that building over there looks like the funny girls building. <laughs> I know it's weird to say though. It's definitely not. So you've got here breakfast, coffee, brunch, boba tea, waffles and crepes. The Bay Double Bubble, this is called. And then right next door to Ralphie's Cafe. That looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, they've got vegan, Mark. Vegan all day breakfast, look. Do you fancy an all day breakfast? Mm -hmm. Wait, all day breakfast? Well, that... Oh, yeah, that's an all day, yeah. <laughs> that's why it's called an all day oh, yeah. breakfast, you lunatic. Oh, look, there's Crown Bar and Bistro here. Fish and chips, homemade pies, sandwiches and salads, sausage and mash, char grilled steaks, eat, drink, stay. Let's just get these details here, look. There you go, you can pause for that. Oh, look at this. Beach bird. This is cute, isn't it? Wow, look at the uh, army hat there, Mark. Yeah. US Army. Oh, they've got some lovely bits, haven't they? Careful of this table, don't knock into it. You've got another ice cream and gift shop here. And Morecambe Rock. Oh, why is it up in the sky? Honestly, I hate this camera. <laughs> Mark, it's the, I'm there walking along, chatting away, and it's filming the sky. And you get your seafood from there as well. Oh, 
look at all those flowers over the road. And that's Eric um, Eric Wise, oh, isn't it? No, that, that statue there, Morecambe and Wise. Oh, no, yeah, how do, you, how do you know? You can just tell looking at him. You've got Eric's Cafe here. No dogs allowed and they do take away. It's a shame they don't have a menu in the window or outside. There's a menu there at the table, but I don't know how well we'll see it. So you've got Eric, Harry. No, that there on the table. Yeah. Can you read it? Full English breakfast, full veggie breakfast, full breakfast. So a full English breakfast looks like it's 8 95 Veggie sausage, chips and beans, £4.30. Can't really see any more than that with it being in the window. Come on. Oh, Daniel, Mark, look at this. Thai massage, morecambe.co.uk. Pretty. Now this looks nice, Mark. Let's have a look at the menu here. I've got a feeling that we would get vegan in here. This does look nice. I've got a feeling. There's a vegan vegetable type curry, there's. Let's have a look. Even bigger, full breakfast, 13.49. Mexican cheese and chicken melt with Doritos. Interesting. Vegan Bombay yeah. burger, wow. They've got a vegan katsu chicken. I think this is kind of like a Weatherspoons, isn't it? So that's not um, a bad menu, that, in that pub. But we're going to keep walking because we want to explore as much as we can and do the food review after. You've got Lewis's ice cream and coffee shop just here. Big menu outside. Let's look at this. So you've got... Chocolate fudge sundae, eight ninety five. Strawberry and white chocolate, eight ninety five. Raspberry pavlova, mint madness. I think that's vegan. It's not vegan. <sighs> no, I like how it says uh, stressed, spelt backwards is desserts. <laughs> Clever. You can also get uh, toasted chia batters here. Brie and cranberry, Cumberland sausage and onion. They do Morecambe Bay potted shrimps, quiche of the day, ploughman's platter. They also do milkshakes, smoothies, waffles, toast and pastries, breakfasts. That's a pretty good menu. So you've got another arcade right next door called AJ Ryan's Snappy Land. The Royal Bar and Shaker. What have they got here, Mark? Chorizo sweet potato and egg hash for eight pounds. Royal small English, eight quid. Sweet potato and tomato chia batter. Sunday lunches. Soup of the moment, five pounds. Crispy ham croquette, six fifty. Bone marrow peppercorn sauce. They've got a children's menu there. Battered fish goo johns, six ninety five and a few others. We should have looked at this menu here. This one would have been easier. And the third arcade. So there you go, the Royal Bar and Shaker. So let's go on to this one. Look, you've got Treasure Island just here. This looks good, doesn't it, Dan? Yeah, why are there so many arcades? Well, it is the seaside. Like Same as Blackpool. Treasure Island, family entrance. They've got an ATM in here. Dogs are welcome in this arcade. We may go and check out one of the arcades after when we've done a bit of exploring. What does ATM even stand for? Um, do you know actually? I don't know. Automatic yeah, something yeah. machine. It's automatic. It's a whole lot of money. <laughs> I actually don't know. That's a good question. We automatic all automatic taking money. <laughs> it could be. Actually taking money. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Heaven. Oh, look. Excuse me. No, Excuse me. Laughing laughing. I'm having a moment here. Convertible. Why are Because you can. No one's going to get in and drive off. They don't have the key. I mean it. I mean it. So I think we're going to cross over at these lights up here, yeah?
You've got a tower casino here. I this will be adult only if it's advertising 500 pound jackpots. Oh, yeah. We've got another ATM there. Wine bar and coffee house open daily from 9 a.m. Yeah. I'm not sure. Let's go up to the next um, crossing up here so we can see a few more places along the way. Stone Grill restaurant there. Mio Gelato next door, boys. Daniel, what is the matter? You sound like you're struggling to breathe. Well, you might get one later if you're a good boy. Oh, yeah, I'm a good boy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Shame about that building, isn't it? Oh, well, what's this? Oh, it's a hair salon, look. Can't read it. Joe Cass? Oh, dear, look. Smashed window. Fabrics, crafts and gifts. And another amusement arcade, Seagull. No, it was this one. I haven't actually seen any seagulls yet. Oh, yeah. Why did you say that so now look at this one, Cafe of Eden. This looks nice. <laughs> Breakfasts available all day and takeaway available as well. That one does look nice, doesn't it? You right? Craft Embargo Bar just next door. Cask Ales from £3.70. Nice spot that, isn't it? Mum, we found the pier. The pier hotel, happy hour from 3 till 7. 8pm open mic. You know, he makes me laugh, Daniel. <laughs> you are funny. Oh, now this is this is up Mama's corner, look. The old pier bookshop. Why are there so many pits? You are funny. Down the pier. Now, look at this. They've got children's books there, look. This is fabulous. You don't see enough bookshops about today, do you? It's sad that technology takes over and, and where have, you know, books gone from society. So it's nice to see this. I actually thought that was a person then. Morecambe, the Eden of the North, plants are proudly sponsored by the Old Pier Bookshop. Over 130,000 books in stock. Wow. Now, I'm not sure who this is supposed to be. I think Mark's trying to replicate him. But wow, 130,000 books, that's amazing. So I think we're going to cross at this next crossing here that we can see just at the end of the road. And we're going to go back down the other side. Mom. Yes. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a that So, potty ruse. Paint your own pottery. Isn't this good? Just one minute. So it's open Wednesday, 10 till 6. Thursday closed. Friday, Saturday, it's open. And Sunday, it's closed. That's really good for the children to go in and paint your own pottery. So there's the mobile number. 07503 231954. Opening times vary. Check Facebook, Google or the website. Sessions are one hour, 45 minutes. Children must be supervised. Firing takes seven to 10 days. Postage available, paint your own pottery. That is fantastic. Look at this guy's Morecambe Bra Bar. Bra Bar, that's funny. That's a funny name is what I was meaning. Rejuvenate Medical Beauty Training. Next to the number one hair studio. Walk-ins welcome, 01524 647 09. Is there a number missing? 
Yeah, separate to you, then bring them Oh, okay, thank you. There you go. So, number one hair studio there. And then you've got Vogue here on the corner. 426 300. Right, let's cross over to the other side. So you've got the C wall here. I would have expected that to say C is in the C, S-C-A. <coughs> I need a drink. <coughs> you know when you get a, a tickly cough? Oh, Auckland Hotel. That does look nice. Morecambe Bay Hotel next door. So you've got a car park here next to the RNLI station. No overnight camping, sleeping in vehicles overnight, no selling of goods, no caravans or trailers. No HGVs over 1525 kilograms. <coughs> so sorry, I can't stop coughing. Public service vehicle. Vehicles must be parked within the bays. So you've got an RNLI lifeboat house here. Boys, careful. You've got the RNLI shop. Got a shop there, look. Let's see if they've got a window like we have on the Blackpool one where we can see the boats. Aww. Little boy there. Where's his parents? Oh yeah, there's someone there. My heart skipped a beat. Oh no, you can't get in, you can't see. Oh, that's a shame. Right, let's walk up this way now and go find somewhere to eat. We've seen... There's Central Drive, there's Winter Gardens, there's r and What else is there? Where's the comedy carpet? I'm going to this. comedy carpet. The seagulls. Oh! <laughs> yep, it's similar. Let's have a look at the car parking charges, guys, and see if they're the same as Blackpool. So up to 30 minutes, £1.20. Four hours, £4.50. 24 hours, £9. Or overnight, 6pm to 8am, £2.40. Huh? That's confusing. Yeah, why is that cheaper than 24 hours? Yeah, because you'd pay 24 hours. Oh, wait. Oh, 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. is 14 hours. So if you want to just do the 14 hours, it's £2.40. If you want to do the 24, it'd be £9. So it'd be cheaper. It's a shame that that's only 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. because you could do the 2.40 and then do another 2.40, but yeah. it doesn't count during the day. So there you go. That's the prices. It does look a really clean beach, doesn't it, Mark? Yeah. It's nice. Some boats out there, you don't see that, but this is so calm. Wharton Crag, Fairy Steps, Jenny Brown's Point, Silverdale, Hawkshead Moor, Blackfell. What are all these? Are these places nearby? Great Knot, Eel Crag, Kent's Bag. Raven Winder. You any idea what they are, Dan? One's called Tongue Moor, look. So here at the Tower Cafe, you've got fish and chips for £9.80, served daily from 11.30. Jacket potatoes are 360 and then you add your topping. Chicken nuggets, six pieces. This is a meal with chips, £6.80. They even do things for the puppies. Lollipops, a pound. Tennis balls, 150. Puppuccino, two pound. Puppy sausage, £1.50. Americano, 280. 
your sides vary from 40p for sauces, a pound for your bread and butter, 160 for baked beans. And they have kids meals up there starting from £5 for sausage and chips. And this is where you collect your meal here. Opening hours from 11.30 or until we run out of fish like that. <laughs> Seaside Award 2024. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's just this year. Right, can you remember? Oh, look, they've got a park here. Can I go in, please? You can for a minute, yeah. Can you remember where that cafe is, Mark? Yeah. Off he goes. Be careful. That is very I don't think that's a slide. I think it's to help you walk up. Yeah, you meant to go I don't think so. Let's go find this cafe now. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I can go up without using the block. Oh, I think he said it. I think he everyone talking. Right. Come on. I do not want to visit A and E. Let's go to the cafe. Come on. Come on. Careful. Right, so we're just sat outside waiting for our dinner. That costs £25.50. Daniel's got vegan sausage, chips, beans and a carton of juice. Mark's got vegan fry up and some water because he's a real healthy boy, you know. He doesn't like fizzy pop. He likes to drink his water. I'm impressed. And then I wanted a toasty, but they were out of vegan cheese. So I've got vegan sausage, chips and peas and a can of coke 25.50 price is not bad at all but we'll let you know shortly when the food comes out what our verdict is so our food has just come out there's mine sausage chips and peas mark that breakfast looks absolutely amazing mushrooms beans tomatoes hash brown sausages toast and then daniel's got a children's sausage chips and beans so again this was 25 pound 50 looks very nice doesn't it yes. so we've now just got um, an ice cream each and this was two pounds each for yes. some vegan ice cream that looks very good not a bad little portion size yum yum right we've just had dinner that was nice smart did you enjoy that yeah it was nice I'm glad I went there. did you like it then yeah it was really good and it was quite cheap yeah it was um it's a nice cafe that. Prices, you can't really complain. £25 for all of us. That's basically £10 for me and Mark and £5 for Dan. So, yeah, not bad at all. I think we're just going to pop in briefly into this arcade up here that we found, especially as well as they allow filming. Look at these two. Look, you've got that one there, that one there. Monkey. Horse and cart there, look. We need a cash machine, Dan. Comes the cash machine. Right, let's get some change. You need the tub slot up there, look, get a tub each. And then we put this in. There we go. And you're gonna get five pounds each. Let Mark take one. Where are you taking us, Mark? <laughs> of course, basketball. Of course. <laughs> you love your basketball, don't you? So that's going to be a pound, yep, as normal. Oh, 
Oh. No, solo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, you got to Oh, you're going for hard, really? Oh. Oh, yes, go on, mate. He's doing good. Oh, go on, lad. So you get two points every time the ball goes in, so he's got ten. His target. Oh, 32, that's a really good go. Right, where's Daniel going to take us? Where are you going? Connect four. Las Vegas. We're going to do a minion hitter. That's it, your time's up. That was a good effort, that. Good try. <laughs> you should get a cracking score on that. I could just place the ball. You're going for basketball again, are you? Oh, bowling. Okay. I think that's turned off, so you can try this one if you want. Classic roller, the Grand Fun Alley. Very difficult, this. Go on, you can do it. Nearly. Come on, you've got this. Come on. Excuse my egg. Oh, you know what? You still did good. Right, let's see what Daniel's going to get on this. Is he going to get the jackpot? You did get the jackpot at South Pier. I remember that. But not today. Oh, you get two goes. Is it going to be the jackpot? No. Go on, lad. You can do it. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's four. You have to get it on the line for 50. So close, Daniel. Don't say that one's broke as well, is it? Oh, my God. Prime flavoured rock. 250 tickets. That's funny. Thank you. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. This way, go this way. They have got some nice prizes in here, haven't they? Look at this look, push along bubble dinosaur. They're cute, aren't they, Dan? You like your teddies, yeah. don't you? Right, let's go out to the arcade now. Come on. We're done now. That's not a bad little arcade, and you've got a Casino just down here for the grown-ups. So this is where they have their Sunday market. Army surplus. Oh, Mark, that'd be a good shop to check out when it's open. An army shop, look. You'll be able to buy army kit in there. It's open seven days. Yeah, I mean, it will be open every day, but probably closes earlier in the day. It is uh, five o'clock now, darling. Ah, oh, Mark, look what's right next door. Morecambe Salty Mate Laser oh, yeah. Tag Adventure. <gasps> now, you know what? Strap a camera to your chest. That would be quite a funny video, wouldn't it? Yeah, we need to do that. Let's come back here. I've done um, laser tag a couple of times, and you know how ridiculous I am. I scream constantly when the person <laughs> shoots you, so everyone always knows where I am. Oh, that sun's a blinder. Right, another arcade here, big prizes. They're not short of arcades here in Morecambe, look. 
I thought that man then was the captain off um, below deck. <laughs> you won't know the TV show, but anyone that does know the show will know what I mean. Never mind. You've got a cafe here, Rita's Cafe. Oh, that sun's a blinder, isn't it? It's still a blinder, even with the sunglasses. This is a nice pub, this, isn't it? Look at the building. I actually thought it was a train station. It looks like one. Kids, I think it is, you know, up here. I think this part's the train station, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Very confusing because it really does look like a train station. I'm sure I remember seeing Aldi near to the station and there's Aldi. Tiny cinema. So here you've got cream and cones, milkshake, waffles, Italian gelato, coffee and cakes here in the cinema. They have a wee buy any car. Oh, it's been nice, but I'm ready now to head back towards the train station and get back home. Let's just look at this sign here. Do they give prices or is it just film listings? Yeah, no, it doesn't tell you prices there. That's a shame. Come on, lad. Let's head back out. What are the prices of the time? Sorry, but it's at 14 <laughs> No! Oh look, Festival Market. They do alright for markets out here, don't they? I think that's the same one from the ones we knew earlier. It is from the back. We were round the back a minute ago. Their opening times are 5pm they close, 9 till 5. So they'll be closing in a minute. One minute exactly. The building continues to be staffed when the market is closed. So they must have a security guard there all night on his own. That wouldn't be a job I would want. Would you? What if you're working for night at the uh, museum? No. Imagine sitting in the uh, market all night on your own. Oh, yeah. Does anyone actually know which direction? The ah, I can see a sign for the train station, look. It's pointing forward, so we are going the right way. Right, we're back at Morecambe train station. Unfortunately, we've got a 40 minute wait for the train. It was originally an hour and 20 minutes, so we were like, hell to the no. So we went off to get some lemonade, lemonade, spicy lemonade, I got one. Um, boy's got some apple juice and some crisps. And yeah, we're just waiting now. What are you doing? How is lemonade spicy? It's a special lemonade, oh. that one. It has um, something I can't drink. <laughs> anyway, we've got to get the train back to Lancaster and then a train to Preston and then Preston to Blackpool. What a nightmare, but I'm glad we came out here. It's been a really good day. Now we're going to turn the camera around because the boys have decided they're going to do some races. So we're going to go three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, please don't fall. Oh, it's close, it's close, it's close. <laughs> Speedy Gonzales. So yeah, just been tra 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 trying to keep them busy with racing. But we've um, not got long left. We'll get there. Have you enjoyed your day in Morecambe yeah, and Lancaster? Yeah. It's like Blackpool, oh. but the rip-off, actually. Rip-off? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they've got a central drive, one such a drive right now, which is a rip-off. Wouldn't have gone Do you mean a copy? Uh, rip-off means, like, Walmart ripping... So, so, Walmart version. Yeah, like, yeah. it's like a quieter version, isn't it? But I'd, I'd say it's a prettier ver version, all the flowers and... they got more greenery. Yeah, it's quite clean as well, isn't it? I got it. What are you doing? Look, we have to have someone that wins, not first. Lunatic. <clears throat> Right, lovelies. We are at the end of our video. We are now in which train station are we in now? Preston. Preston. We're now in Preston. So we've got we've 
one of the trains has cancelled. We've got about a half hour wait for the next train back home. So we're going to leave it here and say bon voyage, Aradeci, goodbye. <laughs> Don't even know I heard it on Johnny English. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, from us, it is a goodbye. Have you enjoyed your day, Dan? Yeah? Where's Mark? Oh, look, there he is. You're right, mate. You're tired, aren't you? It's all them races you were doing at the train station. We didn't obviously film all of them, but they were running backwards and forwards. Method in my madness. They will be tired for bed. <laughs> anyway, lots of love. We will see you soon. And please don't forget to like, comment and share. Bye.